All right, hey, what's up? The Garf here with Peter Storm of the Underground Combat League. Just a uh, history-making night tonight. We had uh, the first ever UCL Bantamweight Championship. Uh, very nice fight. And now you've got a new Bantamweight Champion in the house. Now, Peter, this show has been going on now for over a decade. And uh, still, you know, there's really no advertisements for it. It's held in New York, kind of undisclosed locations. And yet, you know, you always turn out a nice crowd, people really enthusiastic. How do you do that? You know, it's um, originally um, the underground just was like showcasing. It was, we get the fighters and they just bring in their people. But, you know, like any fire in the, in the forest, it, you know, it just spreads. So, um, I mean, you know, 10 years, you know, I can listen, I can easily put a thousand people into a UCL event. But I still keep it through, you know, through uh, social media, through texts, and it's uh, still, you know, I still keep it like that because it, it, uh, it's, it uh, maintains the aura of the UCL, you know. There's a lot of people who wish they could come to UCL then. I get messages all the time, but you know, I mean, it's like I'm turning away money, but I'm still keeping the aura of the UCL. Well, that's a, there's definitely a feeling in this place that you're you're at a special event, and you know, it's like a, it's a, like a little club in here. But, uh, you know, in, in terms of putting on the production, it was, uh, you know, a really high-level production. Uh, I mean, nice DJ, good sound, uh, you know, just, just a, an A1 show for the fans who do come. Right. I, I mean, you know, I, I work in the club industry, so I get uh, nightclub DJs. Um, I get security from, you know, I have top, top security that you don't see unless you need to. And, um, you know, the fighters I get are very, very good fighters, a lot of heart. Even the ones that don't have that high level skill, they have good heart and, and it makes up for it. And, um, you know, it's, um, the shows usually turn out very well. Sometimes you get your boring fight. And for, and for me as a promoter, I really, you know, it kicks my ass. But, I mean, that comes with, that's the nature of the business, you know? Right. And, uh, you know, the matchmaking here was really good. Um, you know, you, you put on, you know, well-matched fights and, and look like a, a very equal skill levels in the ring. Yeah, I mean, you know, sometimes you get, you know, uh, as a promoter, again, I, these are grass lo uh, grassroots fighters, and you don't really know what they have. They can tell you they have this, they can tell you they have that. But until they're actually in the ring, you don't see it. So you try to match according to what they tell you, and you hope they're being honest, and you hope that their coaches are being honest, and that it's a good, you know, you can match it up properly. Um, because at the end of the day, as a promoter, I want the best fights. Right. If I can put on the best fights, then people will continue to come. Right, and well, you've been putting on good fights for over 10 years now, yep. and right here at the venue we're at, uh, Frankie Edgar actually fought a uh, UFC champion. Frankie, yeah, yeah. Frankie Edgar. You know, listen, uh, right now I think Ryan LaFleur is the latest UCL um, veteran. Who started, just won his UFC fight. Did yeah, you? He, he, start, he started here. Um, there was just an article on Sherdog about the Leone brothers. Um, so, you know, it, right today, the guys that we had today, I'm sure there's a few of them that you're going to see in the future, whether it's two years from now, three years from now, five years from now, you're going to see there's, there's guys, you know, who start in the UCL. Right, yeah, and I do a lot of amateur shows in, in New Jersey, and uh, I tell you right now, you know, they don't have anything on the talent that you brought out here today. Some good schools represented, and uh, these guys fought their hearts out. A lot, you know, uh, ironically, a lot of these guys, they just, they just train in basements and attics. I train my guys in my attic. I got my second floor I live in, and the attic is big. It's like another floor. I train my guys there. We don't have mats. And we do judo there, so go figure that, you know? So it's like, um, you know, a lot of these guys got really rough training, and, um, you know, but, I mean, that's school of hard knocks. Right. Well, we saw some hard knocks today, uh, some spectacular knockouts, and, uh, you know, submissions uh, just had it all today. It was uh, a great fight, uh, great night of fights. Great you know, night of fights, yeah. We had uh, seven fights and two titles, uh, so you had the Division A title on the line. Right. And two champions crowned, and I guess they'll be defending in the future. They'll be defending, and we'll be back mid-June. All right. So, thegarv.com. All right, and uh, Peter Storm, UCL, uh, great night, and uh, good luck in the future. Thank you, guys.